Hi everybody, Chris here from Truly Holistic. In this video, we're going to talk about a, the most com common complaint uh, or health issue that people will experience and suffer with, and that is fatigue, okay? Which we can define as a lack of energy or lethargy, um, extreme tiredness, and there's a number of syndromes which are just labels that they use as diagnoses that is bound and connected to this experience of lacking energy. And so we're going to talk about what this is all about, okay? The root, the origin to it, okay? For example, when we come down with a cold, right? We'd, we'd, we'd state that that is... We feel run down, okay, lacking energy. And we start to get, you know, runny nose or we start to get a tickly throat. We start to sneeze. We just, just feel like the weight, feel heavy. The weight's on our shoulders, the weight's on our chest, okay? Which is, when you feel that, that's low vibration. That's low energy, okay? So your, your frequency is lowering, okay? And it'll feel like, Gravity's a bit more heavier than usual, right? And that's the interesting thing. Gravity, the, the Latin name for gravity is uh, gravis, and that means heavy, okay? So it's not only with using the word gravity for the force, as we know that pushes everything down, there's this aspect of heaviness that we feel energetically too. So often, you know, when we feel run down, we get that cold, we get all those symptoms, we all of a sudden feel like, hey, we need to sit down, we need to lie down, we need to get into bed and sleep it off and, and rest, okay? You know, if you go to go to your doctor and say, hey, I've got all these symptoms, I'll go, yep, you've got some form of virus going on, just go home uh, and, you know, just rest, okay? Take some painkillers if you need to and just rest and, and you'll come right. Now, a lot of people will deem that state, right, is I'm sick, right? People want to come over. No, don't come over. I'm sick. I don't want you to catch it, okay? Now, what actually is happening when you're getting all the runny nose and, 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 and that state of thing, and then all of a sudden you're sitting and lying down? Now, that's a state of being because what, what uh, your innate intelligence has come in to intervene to try and get you to stay still to allow a healing state to occur, okay? Because that's, that's a being state, okay? Because what has happened before that, when you were starting to get run down, if we really trace our steps back in regards to why we got run down, was we were living at a state of sickness. So when we think we're sick, we're actually healing, and beforehand, when we were starting to get run down, we weren't sick then. We, were, oh, we weren't healing then. We were in a state of sickness. So it's the other way around. Okay? Because when we get overwhelmed, right, we're, we're uh, run down, we're stressed. Okay? And this is an important aspect of the stress. Because stress is connected to every health problem there is. Now, stress is a state that we create for ourselves. Okay? We're going to get challenges in our lives and things that we need to do. But it's how we respond and react to those things that creates a state which becomes our environment. And what we know through epigenetics is that the environment predetermines the expression of everything within that environment, which is the state or how they express themselves, okay? Which is how you respond or react, right? So what we what we find here from an energetic standpoint a quantum standpoint is that everyone at their core is infinite energy infinite consciousness that's what infinite consciousness means infinite means not a lack of infinite amount and consciousness means energy so at the core if we are infinite consciousness and hence infinite energy why as the human is our most common complaint or issue is a lack of energy. We can look at that, okay? And it comes down to the state that we provide ourselves, which becomes our environment, which then predetermines our expression, you know, how the physiology of the body works. But also, it's all about connection. And this is a big aspect that 
you know, for, as a quantum healer, I work on is this aspect of connection. I want people to connect to their full potential, and to do that, you need to embrace and embody this connection of you as a soul, but even further than that, as infinite consciousness, not the human, okay? So, because when we embody a lot of the human traits, we get back into the state where we disconnect as infinite consciousness, and, and hence, we don't have a connection to a reservoir of infinite energy anymore. No wonder we then lack energy, right? Okay, so our innate intelligence is consciousness, not the mind, okay? The majority of humans have been conditioned to embody the mind. It's my mind, okay? It's my mind. But anything divine is something external to you. Again, the opposite is true. You are divine. When you connect to your infinite consciousness, you're connecting to your divine aspects of self. And what stops you from connecting to that, which disconnects you from that, is the mind. Okay, not your mind, the mind. Okay, it's some, that's external to you. Okay. So what happens is when you get disconnected from your innate intelligence, consciousness, then you get guided off track. You're on track with consciousness. You're in the flow, okay, which is a being state. Okay, not a doing state, a being state. Because remember, stress comes out of living a life that's complex, not simple. Okay. Doing is a complex lifestyle. Doing all the time. Okay. You need to balance that out with being. These are states that we provide for ourselves. So when we get guided off the road, it's what people will call or term as the mind or my mind okay so you know fatigue tiredness chronic fatigue you know as i say all these syndromes associated with that is due to connection or a lack of connection to you as infinite consciousness okay so we may say hey i'm tired because i didn't get enough sleep but let's look at the reasons you know, if we look into that deeper, why are you not sleeping? Okay, we can say we're not sleeping, but why are you not sleeping? And that will a lot of the times be because you're disconnected to your innate intelligence consciousness. A lot of the time. Okay, uh, life is busy. And as I say, life's going to have challenges. Life's going to be busy at times. But what creates that state that leads to being overwhelmed, stressed, and all those sorts of things? is your response and reaction to those things, those challenges, those things that happen in life that you deem as busy. Because there'll be people that will take that on board and, and, and be very positive about it. And there's some people that will just say, this is not fair, I'm overwhelmed, I'm stressed. So, so that's your response and reaction to that, right? Now, quite often, as human, this is a very human thing to do as well, we look at, we look at the specifics, right? And, you know, we're conditioned to in tech, uh, in intellectualize everything, okay? Which gets in the head, gets in the mind. We analyze everything, which is complex, complexity, okay? Which is that state that creates stress and overwhelming a lack of energy, right? Because you get disconnected from your reservoir of infinite consciousness, which is infinite energy, okay? And quite often when we get into that state, we lose awareness or we have a lack of awareness of the little things that are happening in every moment of your existence. And because they happen in every moment of your existence, they are bound to every aspect of your existence. So they are the most important. So it's not about a, a specific scenario or a specific challenge, just one or two challenges that come about. No, it's not about that. It's the choices we make in every moment. Okay, which is where we place our attention and how we use our intention. That's why I talk about this all the time, because it's bound and connected or rooted to every moment of your existence. So therefore, it's bound and connected to everything you're going to experience. Okay, and why I like to really enforce this is because it's empowering, because it's, it's a choice. One, obviously, you need to be aware of those choices in the moment. And then we can get, get you running, right? 
Um, it's at the root. It's the root of everything. Okay. So, as I said earlier, stress is associated and connected to every health issue there is. Okay. And as I said, it doesn't come from simplicity. It comes out of complexity. Okay, which is a trait of the human, but also a trait of the mind. Not consciousness. Consciousness is from the heart. Heart knows simplicity. Okay. When you're doing meditation, what's that the practice of? They'll say to silence the mind. Really, it's to get the mind out of the way. Because the mind is creating the complexity. The mind is not your innate intelligence. It is not allowing a path which becomes your experience of life in a way that places all the odds in your favor. The mind places all the odds against you. It's creating the obstruction, the blockages, because it removes you from the importance of every moment of being present. And what is meditation practice? To try and get you to be, become more present again. By focusing on your breath, closing your eyes, what are you doing? You're br bringing your awareness to the moment. And by closing your eyes, you're removing all the distraction out here. So therefore, your attention is focused on and invested only on one thing, and that's you. Okay? So therefore, your energy gets directed into you. Okay? Where if you're following all this distraction out here, these are areas that can rob your energy. Because when you place your attention somewhere... The universal law is where you place your attention, you're consenting your energy to create more of that thing. Okay? So, for example, a wild animal. If they get hit by a cow, some, they get injured, what do they do? What, what's the most instinctual thing for them to do? Which is a consciousness thing, by the way. Because instinctual is, you don't require time, it's just there. You have that knowing and understanding to do something. Okay? The mind requires time for it to come in and intervene. Okay? Time is a form of limitation in this reality. So the mind is there to limit you. And by limiting you, it's limiting your capacity to connect to your infinite consciousness, which is an infinite reservoir of energy. No wonder, as the human, the most issues we have or complaint we have is a lack of energy, tiredness, fatigue. It's all about connection. Okay? So what does a wild animal do? They find somewhere safe and they close their eyes and they sleep it off for as long as they can. Why do they do that? Again, they know the importance of attention, not because of the uh, not the logistics about it, just the knowing, the understanding of the importance of it. Closing their eyes, so therefore they're not investing any of their energy in anything up there. They're only investing the energy specifically on themselves to create a state of being which allows them to heal. Okay. So. What we found is the biggest factor to a lack of energy for a majority of people is thinking. Being analytical, being intellectualizing everything, being logical. When we do that, who are we guiding, being guided by? By the mind, but not by our innate intelligence consciousness. And by doing so, we become disconnected from that aspect of self which is that we are infinite consciousness. So we no longer have an infinite reservoir of energy to tap into and to connect to. Okay. So at Truly Holistic, we emphasize this aspect of connecting you to yourself as infinite consciousness. Okay. Every level of you as infinite consciousness, as a soul, as a soul part of a family of souls where you've got variants of you that exist in a multitude of realities. That's why you're called multidimensional. You as a source of energy and beyond. They are all aspects that make up you as an infinite consciousness. And also not only connecting to it, but then how you then use that energy here through a human experience, through attention and through intention. And we look at that thoroughly. We call that sustenances of energy. 
We look at all the facets of your life, right? Relationships, job, your purpose, how you see self, how what's your relationships or connections to family like? What's your relationship like? Are you in a bad relationship? Your dietary choices, sun exposure, water, clean drinking clean water, exercise, and there's, there's many more. We look at all those avenues because for a majority of people, when they're having issues with tiredness, lethargy, fatigue, is because they're trying to refill a bucket that already has holes in it. Because within one of these avenues or facets of life, which are your sustenance of energy, you are continually leaking your energy out. And you're quite often, this is where a lot of weight issues come, because then you overgorge on food to refill that bucket, because you're leaking out so much energy through other avenues of your life. Okay? So if you're somebody that's got lethargy problem, fatigue, tiredness, book a session at Truly Holistic, and we can look at all these factors that I've talked about in this video. It's not only just doing clearing work, it's also educational. We'll be taught giving you information that you can take away and start to put in place in your life. Okay? Because healing doesn't happen through giving up your responsibility of what you need to do. The most vital aspect of your wellness, your vitality, you getting well, your health is you. Okay? And that's a, that's a big principle, very important emphasis of the work we do here at Truly Hill Estate. It's not only clearing work, it's educational. So book a session, go to my website at trulyholistic.net, okay? And I think it's slash appointment slash if you want to go to the specific page where you book your own appointment. And you can book your own appointment anywhere you are in the world, okay? You just put your time zone in and it'll come up with a calendar or all of the times when I'm available in your time zone. So you can book an appointment that works with you. And then we'll do a Skype session or a WhatsApp session or a session through Messenger. And then for people that are locally, if they want to come, come into my treatment room, we can do that as well. So I have clients all around the world. And as I say, where attention goes, energy flows. So hence, I can work on anybody all around the work, world, which they call distance healing. Please like the video. Please share this video if you've got other people that would benefit from this information. And please subscribe to the channel if this is uh, new to you and you're not already subscribed and you'd love to hear more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. Push the notification bell to be notified when a new video comes out. And also check me on Instagram too. I'm uh, truly under, uh, underscore holistic. Look for that on, on Instagram. Uh, and also I'm on Facebook, which is just uh, all one word, trulyholistic.net. And you'll find my Facebook page there as well. Until next time. Catch you later.